Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of July 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. Overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Pentacles. With the energies that are shown up in the reading, this could signify that um, you're kind of detaching yourself from something and you're heading towards singlehood or, you know, you're already there possibly, I don't know. Um, starting off the reading, you get the uh, Five of Pentacles crossed by the Ten of Cups. There's definitely a form of separation here from something that may have been happy. Uh, at some point, there's either a breakup or a divorce or something. There's, it's kind of floating around the reading, this energy of disconnection from what might have been present in a situation. Um, in your focus here, the Eight of Cups, um, almost like an energy of moving on, you know, letting go of whatever it is um that's left out of something um in the recent past the magician trying to manifest something uh in your strength again an energy of loss an energy of that's it um in the potential in the immediate future sorry the knight of cups oh uh, you're opening your heart that's the good part about all this that you're not shutting down so i kind of get the sense that this is not necessarily recent i feel like it happened a while ago and you're kind of dealing with the aftermath of the remaining energies energies of it um in the um supportive energy here the chariot things are moving quite along i kind of get the sense that There's movement here, but I don't necessarily see you perceiving this whole situation as moving um, as fast as it is moving, actually. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's a contradicting kind of a... In the uh, potential... Uh, potential... What the hell am I... What's up with the potential? There's no potential. Well, there is, but we're not there yet. In the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Knight of Pentacles. That's the thing, because I see slow-moving energies approaching you, but in your energy, there's kind of like a... Not that it's sprinting, but there's definitely a whole lot of energies moving kind of a sense here, attached to you. And for some reason, I'm getting it as mosquito. I'm getting it as um, you getting a sense of, well, you know, I'm not seeing it necessarily or I'm not feeling it. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Three of Swords, um, there's pain here. I mean, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if you left, they left, whoever left. Whoever does the leaving is hurting too. So if you're in the position of, you know, I left the situation, that doesn't mean that you're not hurting. Um, so, I don't know, there's, there's still some pain that you're working on here. Uh, in the potential outcome, finally, a brand new beginning. Uh, Kai, let's not go crazy. Juno, Kai, kids, I know I interfered with your hours of crazy. It is pretty late. Uh, and this is the time where they have the house to go nuts, but... As I said, you have the house, you know, you don't use, you, you don't need to use this room. But you love being around me when you do that. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Nine of Pentacles. The sun, the strength, the moon. 
you're uh, much stronger than you give yourself credit um, in this situation in particular, because I get the sense that um, somehow, I don't, again, I, I have no idea what happened here, but somehow through a particular loss, which doesn't have to be recent necessarily, um, in the way I see it, I kind of get the sense that it happened a while ago, actually, but you're still dealing with the energies of it. Um, I get a sense that you've come out of it pretty strong out of this whole situation. And again, you're still healing. It's not like you're completely uh, done with it, but it, it feels like there's a lack in recognizing how strong you are at the end of the day through this, you know, almost like not giving yourself enough credit. Um, you've got a pretty stable energy here, pretty good energy, considering all of the other energies that are still at play for this. So, I don't know, to me it looks good. Um, I do the Five of Pentacles, almost like a self-recognition, like a pat on the back, like you did good, you know? That's what's missing here. Where you have it, but you're not necessarily embodying it fully. Um, let's do the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, the Hangman. Of course, because I, I get the sense that, you know, uh, there, there was a lot of pain tied up to this situation whenever it happened, however it happened. Because there, there was also a lot of hope that things would work out, you know, so of course there would be a lot of pain, even if you were the one deciding, okay, I'm out, you know, um, it's not, it's not a failure in any way, it's not a, um, I didn't try hard enough, it's not about that, it's about, because um, I see you trying, if you didn't try, I don't know, uh, who did, but it's about recognizing that maybe it's not something that fits you at this moment in life, you know, maybe it's something that's just not working out because it's not supposed to, because it's not meant to work out, you know, and I feel like you've gotten to a lot of those realizations on your own, um, with how the energies are showing up at least, because I don't see resentment, I don't see... I just see the pain of it, in all honesty. And it's still kind of there, a little bit of it, which is normal. Let's do the Ten of Cups. Yeah. King of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Now, I don't know if things were like that, because if they were, then at some point it was happy. It was like, oh my God, you know? Um, or if that's just your hope for things eventually to get in that place. Which you did, again, you did have a lot of hope for that to happen. Um, good energies of love, of happiness, of good times here. But again, if at some point it went south and it didn't manage to get back on track, then maybe there was a reason for that, you know? Um, I saw the Eight of Cups in your focus. Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You're showing up a lot as, right now it's about me. You know, I'm focusing on me, I'm growing, I'm healing, I'm learning. It's it's really about me. Um, that Eight of Cups over there, it, there seems to be a lot of focus on the material, on the, n not the money aspect. That too, of course, because it's part of it, but on whatever surrounds you, you know, whatever you're considering to be your stability. Um, which, great, perfect. I don't know what's up with that Eight of Cups, if you're actually connected to your emotions too through this. I kind of see that you are, but we'll, we'll get deeper into it and we'll see. Let's do, um, let's do the Magician there in the recent past. Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Really hoping that uh, something would work out again, tied up to your sense of stability. Um, really open for it to work out, but then I see you pulling back. So I don't know what this is. Um, 
there seems to be something in there of an energy of potential, big potential uh, for you. I don't know if you pulled away completely. That's the thing. I think you got scared in there. Kind of like, oh, this is too big, you know? Mm. Again, going back to that patting yourself on the back like you did good. You know, there's nothing too big. Could be scary, yeah, but, you know, there's nothing really too big. Um, but it scares you that much because you're, you're actually manifesting it. Again, I don't see you out of it completely. I see you kind of having the tendency to run away from it because it scares you. Because it does have the potential to be quite big for you. Um, let's do the Ten of Swords. In your strength. Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Empress. That's a beautiful energy. I don't know what the hell the situation is. But it definitely led you into a place of complete balance there. Self-love. Balancing the mas masculine and the feminine like that, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, do I even clarify more? Because it's like, okay, you know, you, you kind of got it going on here. Um, and it's, the experience may have sucked, may have been, ew, uh, I don't want to deal with this, but you did and it, it it led you into a place where i feel like you didn't even know where you were heading with this you know and there's a whole lot of balance that i'm seeing through this reading that you achieved through this which at the time you might have looked at as oh my god you know the the worst thing that could have possibly happened which i feel like ultimately maybe not maybe not because this situation led you into this place Let's do the Knight of Cups in the immediate future. The Magician, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups. You're, st you're still in that. You're still... Because this is tied up to that Magician over there where you're manifesting something. You're wanting something. And then you back off. Huh. You carry a fear here, Mosquito. Uh, I'll get you. I'll get you. You don't get me, I get you. Because, you know, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about the animals. Anyways. Um, you're backing off here. There's a fear attached to you. There's a fear of failure somewhere in there. It's not big, but it's big enough for you to have the tendency to, to pull back. You're going from the, from the Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups there. Again. You know, there's a backing off kind of an energy. And in the past, again, you're manifesting something. You're looking at it. It's like, it's too good for me. I'll back off. Um, hmm, there's a lack in there somewhere. You did good overall. With everything, there's something attached to you there. in Tied up to what you deserve. Tied up to receiving allowing yourself to receive what you deserve let's do the chariot in the supportive energies the eight of swords the hierophant the three of wands okay there's something quite deep here that's coming into play uh and there's an energy at play around that deep situation which i don't know what that is uh, that could be either a commitment, either either that, or um, it could even be tied up to your system of beliefs, your spirituality, whatever it is you believe in. Um, but there's something within that energy that's playing off for you quite deep at this time. And uh, it almost feels like you're taking a break from it, which I don't feel that you are. It almost feels like you've been pulled out of it like you feel like you've been pulled out of the situation like oh my god i'm not doing enough of that or i'm not involved as much as i want to be in that um which is not true you you weren't pulled away you're you're you pulled yourself away from it um there's a there's a little sense of overthinking at times there's a little sense of getting caught up in what the mind has to say about things and that's when you actually pull yourself away. Uh, and if there is 
this break in time in terms of because i i kind of see it connected somehow to your healing and i feel like you did you did a lot of that and it's kind of like the universe is giving you a break kind of like takes it take some time off you know and because you've gotten so used to going deep and working with yourself and, and now it's like blank it kind of scares you it kind of makes you think about things too much um take it as it comes there's definitely a sense of a break that's needed here that's almost reinforced um instead of overthinking it and just just kind of go with it you know how, in whichever way it wants to come let's do the knight of pentacles in the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the page of wands the four of wands the knight of wands you're moving slow towards an energy but that energy is moving fast towards you and it's quite an interesting one it does carry a sense of commitment it does carry a whole lot of sense of passion and of playfulness at the same time you know there's that sense of um it brings in something good and something that might stay if you choose uh to keep it but again it's interesting how you're kind of walking towards it quite slow you know minding your own business doing your own thing and i feel like that's because you're you're so anchored into the the sense of stability that you're working on um and this one is kind of like yay let's go let's party you know and it, i mean you'll meet somewhere along the line for sure um but you're not seeing it yet it's not here yet it's more of a you know chill a little bit like get out of this Blah, 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 blah. grounded kind of an energy which is great but when it's too much it's like come on have some fun with it a little too you know um so it almost feels like it's being sent to you just for that to, to chill a little uh three of swords in your hopes and fears the ten of wands the seven of wands the five of pentacles yeah there's still some aspects in this situation that you have been dealing with about loss here uh, that are coming to the surface and they're quite painful and I see you at times kind of not wanting to deal with them because they're difficult to deal with Because uh, this situation that you've dealt with definitely brought up a lot of energy of loss um, to the surface for you to deal with so um, It's something painful. It's something we don't necessarily jump for. Yeah, let's work with the pain. Yay No you know, so I can see how at times you may be rejecting working with it, but just so you know, it's here, it's still present. Um, so whenever you're ready to stop rejecting it, it's there waiting for you to work with it. For the potential outcome, the Ace of Pentacles, you get the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Tower. You're stepping into something brand new, uh, but as this energy approaches you, this energy of new, um you're kind of looking at it and you're like huh i don't know if i want to take it i don't know i kind of feel good where i'm at i don't know if i want to step into the next uh, uh. and that's kind of deceiving and that's kind of sabotaging whatever you're experiencing um because you know energies are here to stay and go stay for however long they're needed and then just kind of depart you can't force yourself to stay too long in it i mean you can but it's gonna attract all, all sorts of nasty energies there you know too so when that moment comes for you to step into the new i know you you've gotten used to but i feel good here you know i've created this whole sense of i know where i'm at i know what i'm doing you know new is gonna bring in something new what if i lose it what if i don't know even though i trust myself that i do but what if so it's it's kind of spinning you into a, a, a self trap in there, you know. If you don't just accept that energies do have the tendency to come, stay for a while and then go, um, and then others come into play, and maybe we want to deal with those because hanging on to energies that really want to go, eh, not the greatest thing. So it's it's shown up as. A little bit deceptive you know the way you receive this brand new chapter in your life that is around the corner basically uh if you don't fully receive it as it comes in so let's see what the universe has to close it off 
Page of Cups, Three of Cups, the Sun. There is a whole lot of happiness here somewhere hidden in the love of something. I don't know what it is, but I do see a whole lot of love being brought with this energy. It could be a reconciliation for some of you with the way the reading kind of led into a direction of something else. I don't see it as that, but it could be. It could be. I don't know. It could be that someone from your past is bringing in a lot of love. Um, that doesn't mean, oh, okay, we're getting back together necessarily, or it could, I don't know. But there's a whole lot of love tied up to a whole lot of happiness that is at your doorstep right now. So I don't know what you're doing with that. I hope you enjoy it because it's really good energy. Um, and I, I, I mean, it's the second time. First I see it tied up to when the reading opened and now from the universe. So it's definitely a whole lot of happiness that's being brought forward here. So... Let's see um, what the Into the Lonely Woods Oracle deck has for you. To walk the lon lon lonesome road. I don't know how to read that word, apparently. Lons lon lonesome. Let's see. Oh, you got the first card in the deck. Foolish, they say, to walk this strange path. Loneliness will become your only companion, they say, as you take those first steps onto the lonesome road to your own self. This is not adventure, no, no, this is not adventure, no indulgence, no needless seeking. This is a pilgrimage of the soul, pilgrimage, pilgrimage, uh, of the soul and the time you spend on the path you have chosen, which truly has chosen you may make you weary and there could be no i can't see straight and there could be doubt and there will be moments where your only companion is the voice inside your head and that is the point for when you hear that voice clearly for almost the first time listen speak with it see what you have been saying to yourself and with each footstep watch the words become more encouraging loving and filled with self-love that's when, that's when you make friends with what's going on in there. Instead of being like, shut up, stop saying that. I, I, I hate me when I say that. You shouldn't hate you when you say that. You should make friends with what's going on in there. Thus, making friends and starting to love yourself more. Um, making friends with yourself. Anyways, uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.